Trade. It is a surefire way for organizations to enter new markets around the world, but it is often a difficult undertaking because of the red tape that exists. This past weekend, customs brokers from Belize and across the region hosted a conference held under the team, the 21st Century Customs Broker. Assistant Controller of Customs and Excise, Tricia Saboranis, highlighted the advancements in a custom broker's role. This has forced the customs administration to undertake and reform modernization initiatives. In the document, A Customs in the 21st Century, the World Customs Organization, WCO, states that building a customs trade partnership is one of the key elements for a customs administration to execute her functions. Similarly, the custom broker's role has expanded to not only clearing goods, as Ms. Rosanda had mentioned, but also interacting with shipping agents, freight forwarders, other regulatory bodies, and the private sector, both nationally and internationally. The 21st century customs brokers act as the middleman or woman tasked to interact and network with different businesses and facilitate the movement of goods around the world. For this reason, custom brokers are also tasked to find the most cost efficient and effective manner in which to serve their clients while assisting in meeting the regulatory requirements. This defines the utmost importance of strategic alignment cooperation, and partnership between both customs and brokers. Minister of Foreign Affairs Eamon Courtney says in the Caribbean, customs brokers are even more important due to the complexity of the processes in the region. He adds that the government of Belize is looking to ease some of these stringent procedures. GOB also has a vision to slash import and export processing time by 20% and the cost by 30% by 2026. In the latest report from the Statistical Institute of Belize, the country's total imports for this quarter of the year were up by 20.8% and exports were down by almost half in comparison to this time last year. Minister Courtney says that they are striving toward Belize becoming a stronger exporter. Belize must also adjust as we are highly dependent on imports and we are driving to become a stronger export economy. The time required to import or export is excessive and unacceptable. I am told that in order to import just for order compliance, it takes two days. For documentary compliance, where custom brokers shine, it takes a little over a day. For exports, it is even longer. The reason for the delays have been identified. They range from a lack of interconnectivity between customs and other agencies, limited physical infrastructure, lack of direct maritime connection of Belize with other countries to, to too many documents being requested for goods clearance. Minister Courtney added that a plan to revamp Belize's Customs and Excise Department is already on the table. It starts with Belize's robust plan to implement the TFA, which will augment the efficiencies gained through the modernization efforts of the Belize Customs Department through a secure world over the past years, as indicated by in 2021, with the assistance of UNTA, we developed an implementation roadmap to guide the government's approach. The goals of the roadmap are simple. It seeks, among other things, to simplify and modernize import, export, transit processes and procedures, including to establish a national single window by 2025. The development and deployment of a trade information portal is also on the table. Also in the pipeline is work to implement the single window platform that will improve the services offered and facilitate the transition into becoming a well-rounded 21st century customs broker. Giovanna Mogel, Love News.